Judith Lives. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, peep this out. It's your boy Ian K with a quick breakdown of episode 10 of season four of The Walking Dead, a very solid episode titled Inmates. Much needed dose of uh, action that we really needed compared to last week there. As much as I love last week's episode, it was a little bit of slower pace. This week we do pick up with the rest of the group and we see exactly where they're all at, pretty much scattered around, everyone trying to figure things out. What are they gonna do next? Um, really, really nice beginning overall with Daryl and Beth. Beth's journal entry that was being read to us, narrated as you see them trying to do what they needed to do, um, was very touching, very poignant. Beth talking about um, the idea of prison life and what that can actually mean in terms of just the goodness of being together with people. It could be a good thing. I don't think prison life is good for anyone personally, but in this state of affairs for the world that we're currently living in with The Walking Dead, it was definitely a safe haven for them. Um, and obviously seeing that character grow and seeing what she's going through was very well done there. Daryl definitely looking dazed in terms of what was happening with him as well. Everyone is really just kind of like, oh my God, what are we going to do now? Um, a lot of other characters, this was a chock full episode full of content there. Maggie, Sasha, and Bob Stuckey. Um, together also trying to figure things out everyone kind of processing exactly what had happened We haven't really seen that breakdown from Maggie or Beth regarding the loss of their father Herschel yet I'm sure that's gonna be coming, but they're just trying to be strong and stay focused and move on um, Obviously Maggie's got it in her head that she's got to find Glenn They've got to do what they need to do to really kind of regroup and find the people that matter the most so obviously when they happen upon the bus uh, from the mid-season finale that we saw that everyone was supposed to be on really really sad state of affairs people in there obviously had become walkers and actually Maggie thought she was gonna go on there and see if Glenn was there as well hopefully he wasn't obviously he wasn't because we do pick up with um, with Glenn he wakes up he's actually in the prison still alone not sure what to do um, really kind of gets his belongings together he's got to do something he's got to get out of where he's at the place is just crawling crawling with walkers there so obviously it is no longer safe um, actually, when you think about it, the prison was never safe to begin with, within the confines of the walls. Um, terror all around surrounding them there. So, he picks up, does what he needs to do, uh, finds one of the people from the previous uh, camps, uh, people actually, the governor, when he uh, hired all of those people, so to speak, in terms of uh, for his cause to raid the, uh, the prison there, um, kind of befriends one. She sees that uh, Glenn is obviously not a bad guy, the people actually in the prison were not bad. And, they make a run for it and do what they needed to do, and he needs his help just as much as she needs his. Um, and eventually, by the end of that episode, we kind of see exactly what's going to happen further on. But we'll get into that in just a minute there. Um, but overall, some really, really big highlights. Obviously, you guys all know Judith is alive. It looks like Tyrese made a beeline for that exit towards the end of the uh, mid-season finale there. I personally didn't see that happen myself, but then again, I've watched the episode a few times um, and still haven't seen where, where that actually happened there. But Suffice it to say, Judith is alive, that's a good thing. We've got Lizzie and, uh, and Mika um, together. Obviously Lizzie being kind of like Lizzie Borden if you ask me, I think she's probably the one who's gonna be responsible ultimately, I think for Tyrese's girlfriend's uh, death there regarding uh, Carol kind of picking up the slack and saying she's the one who did it. I'm not quite sure exactly what's happening there, but when you see uh, obviously little Judith crying before the walkers show up there and then Lizzie's trying to snuff her out, with the hand over the face there. Um, you know, obviously the kid's got some issues, so we'll see exactly what's gonna go on there. But again, speaking of Carol being back, how awesome was that to see at the, the nick of time showing up there by the train tracks, doing what she needed to do, um, and really kind of a uh, regroup with uh, Tyrese. Kind of a homecoming, so to speak, there, but Tyrese doesn't know the story with Carol yet, so I think the stage is set for something a little bit down the road. Um, plot points there, obviously we're pointing towards the future of where the show is going, so we've got some really cool things there. One of the things you guys may remember from early on in the season was a radio transmission talking about when you arrive, you survive. And obviously when they come across a certain billboard map showing you exactly where things are there, there's a place called Terminus there. These are hearkening back to uh, little shades of the comic book, things that are going to be coming up. Their portrayal on screen hopefully will be a little bit reminiscent of the comic, but we'll see. But definitely it's pointing in the direction of everyone kind of heading towards uh, that sanctuary, that safe haven in Alexandria. So we'll see exactly what happens there. One of the hitchhikers that they all come across there with Carol and the kids and Tyrese basically was saying his mistake and, you know, just basically stay on the tracks, go forward, and everyone follows in that area there. So we'll see exactly what happens. But overall, 
very, very solid episode in terms of where the other uh, progression of everything is going there. Those are just some of the quick highlights of it there. If you haven't watched it fully yet, definitely indulge, definitely take a look. There's a lot of great stuff there, but obviously for me, and the highlight that a lot of people have been waiting for was the introduction of three main characters at the very end. Sergeant Abraham Ford, Rosito Espinoza, and Eugene Porter. Um, we've got some great stuff coming hopefully with these characters there. How much of an accurate portrayal of these characters compared to the comic book remains to be seen, but obviously their introduction is a major one. They definitely add a major plot point coming up there. Um, I believe Eugene Porter uh, was headed up to Washington, D.C. in the comic book there to try and link up with people that may actually have an idea of exactly what started the Walker outbreak to begin with, so, so there'll, there'll be shades of that um, as time goes by. I personally am curious to know if it's going to signal the, uh, the re introduction of the Hunters, if you guys are familiar with the comic book. Uh, I'm not going to get into exactly what, they, uh, what exactly they are, but let's just say they're pretty ferocious people in their own right, very similar to the Walkers in terms of what they do. And that's all I'm going to say. If you guys think you know what it is, drop some comments down below. But overall, very solid episode. A lot of major plot points were pushed along there. We've got a lot of great things coming along in terms of where the story is going. Shades of exactly how this uh, season has been plotted out have been planted much early on there. And if you take a look at those back episodes and compare that to what we've got right now, you've definitely got something that's making out to be a very solid seven or eight episodes left of this season there. So looking forward to some great stuff coming up this week. Obviously, special effects were solid. Um, and a lot of action, and it really needed a nice little uh, shot in the arm in terms of some of the action sequences this uh, this week. So my hats off to showrunner Scott Gimple and the crew that is definitely putting out a stellar product every single week for public consumption. Absolutely looking forward to the next episode. All right, guys, sound off time. You know what that means? Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this past week's episode of The Walking Dead titled Inmates. I'm curious to know what you thought exactly of the episode what do you think of the introduction of those three characters at the end how closely do you think they're going to resemble their comic book counterparts i'm very curious to hear what you have to say and as always guys please give this video a thumbs up please like share and subscribe just like it says right above me over here definitely appreciate the love and support from all of you guys but do share this channel with all the peeps that you know show it to at least one or two or three or four or five friends that you know make sure they check out the content there's a lot of great stuff there that you always hear me talk about every single week obviously with movie reviews tech reviews, food reviews, TV show reviews, kind of like things like this as well. Um, I definitely enjoy putting these things together and I could not do it without the love and support of all of you and I do greatly appreciate it. Guys, I am going to talk to you next week with the very latest episode breakdown of The Walking Dead Season 4. Steamrolling along, I'm enjoying it wholeheartedly. I hope you guys are too. We will talk to you next time. Stay frosty.